Kelly here with Storyteller Overland. In this tech tip, you will learn about your 2022 mode plumbing and water systems. So let's get started. Located at the driver's side rear of your mode is the water control panel, which has a siphon port control and connection, a water pump control, external water port controls, outdoor shower control, and connection access to the tank drain and water pump screen. The mode does not have a water filtration system. It is recommended that an inline style RV water filter be used when connected to any water source. This will help keep debris out of the freshwater system. To connect to or use city water, find the water control panel at the left driver's side rear of the garage area. Turn the external port valve control on the water control panel to city water to mode fixtures. Then, attach the water supply hose to the external freshwater connection port. After ensuring that all water fixtures in the mode are off, turn on the water supply to begin using city water. To disconnect from city water, turn off the city water supply. Disconnect the city water hose from the vehicle. Replace the city water connection cap. The freshwater tank can be filled two ways via city water or via the siphon port filling method. Before using the freshwater tank as a water supply, the interior water lines must be primed. If available, using city water to fill your mode's freshwater tank is the most convenient method. To do so, find the water control panel located at the left driver's side rear of the garage area. At the external port valve control, Turn it to city water to fill freshwater tank. Attach the water supply hose to the external freshwater connection port. Turn on the water supply. When the tank is full, turn off the water supply. Disconnect city water supply and replace the cap. Turn the external port valve to the desired use position. You can also use the onboard water pump and a siphon tube to fill your freshwater tank. This method pumps water from an external container into the freshwater tank using a standard hose. This hose is not provided. To use the siphon port method to fill the freshwater tank, turn on the Empower system. Find the water control panel at the rear garage area and turn the siphon port valve control to siphon fill freshwater tank. Turn the external port valve to use freshwater tank. Connect the hose or siphon tube to the siphon fill port. Place the open end of your siphon tube into your water container. Turn on the water pump and the water will begin to siphon into the freshwater tank. Once the water container is empty, turn the water pump off and the siphon port valve back to the normal use up position. Running the external water source dry can damage the water pump. Pay close attention to the water level in the container. Failing to put the siphon port valve in the correct position will cause the pump to run continuously and damage the pump. Your mode has an electric water pump. To use the fresh water tank, the water pump must be turned on. When connected to city water, the water pump is not needed. When the pump is first turned on, it will prime the system by cycling for a few moments, then turn off once it has sufficient pressure. When the plumbing system is not in use, keep the water pump off to prevent draining the tank if a faucet is accidentally left open or if a leak develops. The water pump can be controlled three ways. The water pump icon on the ModeCom home screen, the water pump button on the Groove Lounge side of the galley, the water pump button on the water control panel. When the fresh water pump is in use, for example, when accessing water from the fresh water tank, it will cycle on and off, based on demand providing water pressure to the sink and showers. If all water faucets are closed and the pump continues to run, you are likely out of fresh water, or there is a leak in the system. Turn on the hot water by tapping the hot water icon on the ModeCom home screen. When on, it will illuminate. The lights may flicker momentarily as the furnace turns on. It takes several minutes for the system to heat up. 
When ready to use the hot water, circulate it throughout the vehicle before turning the water on by simply pushing the hot water recirc button on the galley. The light will automatically go out after 15 seconds, indicating the hot water has been circulated. When you are not in need of hot water, turn off the hot water icon. Leaving the hot water on consumes fuel. Also, the furnace will not make heat or hot water when the fuel tank is below a quarter tank. Attempting to fire the furnace when below a quarter tank will likely introduce air into the furnace's fuel delivery system requiring several restart attempts after refueling. The galley sink uses a macerator pump to help drain gray water and small solids down the sink to the gray water tank. When water begins to back up into the sink, press and hold the sink drain pump button on the galley side until the water drains out and the pump sound changes. The macerator pump should only be used when there is water in the sink. It is not designed to run dry. Be careful that the sink faucet is not accidentally turned on when closing the sink cover. To use the shower, first open the shower cabinet front panel. Locate and release the lower panel screw latches to open the lower panel. Release the shower curtain holding straps. Now, holding the shower hose out of the way, pull the shower curtain frame outward. Place the shower head and hose inside the curtain and hang them on the shower head holder. After use, the shower head may continue to drip. This is normal and does not indicate a leak or defect. If stowed shortly after use with water remaining in the hose, this could cause damage to the cabinet. So drain the hose before stowing and allow the shower curtain and plumbing to drip dry. Once the shower is dry and the shower head no longer drips, stow the halo shower. Pull the shower head and hose outside of the shower curtain stall. Push the shower curtain frame back into the shower cabinet. Starting at the bottom, Roll the dry shower curtain up to the shower curtain frame. Using the shower curtain holding straps, secure the shower curtain and hose. Fold the lower panel in place and secure with the latches. Close the cabinet face. Although the shower curtain and shower areas are made from mold resistant materials, it is advisable to dry the shower curtain and stall area before storing to prevent mold growth. If the shower or sink begins to drain more slowly, it may be blocked. Both of these drain lines are equipped with a waterless drain trap to prevent sewer gases from escaping. The waterless drain traps must be removed before using any mechanical drain cleaning device to prevent damage. The outdoor shower is on the water control panel. To use the outdoor shower, turn on the empower system and the water pump. Open the round cap beneath the outdoor shower control. Access the hose connection and attach the supplied outdoor shower hose. To remove the shower hose, push the hose in slightly, pull the collar back, and remove. To drain the freshwater system, you must open the freshwater tank drain valve, the low point drains, and the sink faucet. To do this, first turn off the water pump. Then locate the freshwater tank drain valve, which is the black valve found in the excess port on the water cabinet below the water control panel. Next, locate the two low point drain valves, which are located behind the galley drawers. To access, remove the lower two galley drawers, then open the two valves. The third low point drain is located behind the screw in port at the front of the water cabinet, near the shower pan. To open the valves, turn the handle parallel with the line. To close, Turn the valve handle perpendicular to the line. Turn the water pump on for 10 seconds. Turn the pump off and allow water to drain for one minute. Hang both shower faucets down with faucets on 
and open the sink faucet. Allow to drain for one minute. Turn all fixtures off. Close all drain valves, fresh water tank, and three low point. Draining the fresh water system is not a substitute for winterizing the system. To drain the gray water tank, remove the cap from the gray water tank outlet. Connect a three inch sewer hose, this is not supplied with your mode, to the outlet. Place the opposite end of the sewer hose into the clean out station, making sure there are no low spots in the hose for gray water to collect. Pull the handle of the gray water valve to drain the tank. After emptying the tank, Flush the tank with clean water, especially prior to storage. Close the valve and replace the cap. To prevent harmful sewer gases from coming through the plumbing system, keep the gray water tank closed when connected to a campground sewage system. On the ModeCom home screen, there is a fresh water tank and gray water tank display showing the approximate levels. The system is self-calibrating. When the fresh water tank drops below 20%, a warning box will appear. When the gray water tank goes above 80%, a warning box will appear on the ModeCom home screen. The warning boxes can be dismissed, but the icon will remain illuminated until the tank level warning is rectified. The water pump has a screen meant to prevent solids and large particles from entering the system and damaging the water pump. The water pump screen is not a water filter. The fresh water pump and screen are found behind the rear access port on the water cabinet. After a few tanks of water have been used, empty and clean the screen, then yearly thereafter. To clean the water pump screen, ensure the fresh water tank is empty and the water pump is off. Twist off the strainer bowl counterclockwise. Remove the bowl and the screen. Rinse and clean. Place the screen back into the bowl and reinstall. If you have any further questions, please refer to your 2022 user guide.